So we are back at it with another declutter for today. A few things, don't mind the mess over here. I gotta clean up my life. My baby's sleeping, so we'll try to make it through this um, during his afternoon nap. And my nails are gross. So with all that being said, here is my blush and bronzer drawer. I have my powder blushes here for the most part, some creams, little babies, like these little guys right over here. And then, mainly in this section here is where i keep my bronzers if you guys have been with me for i feel like at least a few months now you know that i actually used to have a full drawer of just bronzers a full drawer of just cream blushes and then a full drawer of just powder blushes but as time went on i did condense everything and try to put it in the same drawer i definitely want to get rid of a decent amount of bronzers bronzers is something that i feel like you have for the longest time ever and they're very like specific to different skin tones you know like there are a decent amount here that do have gorgeous packaging i've used a handful of times but they're just not my favorites and i feel like they're just kind of taking space so i'm going to do a pretty large bronzer declutter video i will have most of the goods on my poshmark which i'll leave linked down below if you guys are interested in picking up anything for yourselves but yeah, let's get started. First, I have this Hourglass palette. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe. So, I know they recently just launched their other palettes for holiday. I was gonna get them, but honestly, I'm thinking I might skip out on them. And I am gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I do think it's excellent quality. I love the versatility, but I'll be honest. Every time I use this, I'm like, you know what? The pans are just way too small. Like this is perfect, but these, I always have to mush my brush together, especially for the bronzer. And I just don't want to feel like I need to do that for an $80 palette. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I think I eventually will probably just pick up the bronzer on its own, which I finished off a full hourglass bronzer, by the way. Solid stuff. Um, I think I'll just pick one of those up a full size because I know I love it and, and then maybe this blush because I think it's pretty those are the main two shades I use in here these not so much so I just feel like it is gorgeous it's pretty it works well but the convenience is just not there for me so I'm going to declutter this one I also did want to say that I have my palette here by Ofra and I do have a bronzer in here so this one here works really really well for me this is a palette I keep in my palette drawer but I did want to show that because it's like my emergency bronzer. It's like my go-to, my favorite thing ever. So I wanted to show you that I had that. I'm not going to consider it a bronzer because it's really a palette. It's going to go in that drawer. <laughs> oh, also, I recently did a pretty large eyeshadow palette declutter video. You guys really love that. So I'll have a link down below if you guys want to check that out. I got rid of half of my collection. Okay, let's move on. Next, I have this by Kaja. I'm actually very curious to know if it even works. Yeah, it does still work. It seems like it has a decent amount of pigment to it still. It's a good color. I just don't use it. I feel like the size of the packaging is just also not that convenient for me. I don't end up using the star because it's a little bit of an awkward type of shape. I usually just go in with a regular brush and then just add it on my face. But I'll be honest with you guys, as much as I say I love cream bronzers and they're nice from time to time, I just don't use them as much as I would love. So I have a handful of cream bronzers here. I'm just not going to keep all of them because I really just don't find that I use them often enough to keep even four. I will be keeping this cream bronzer though. I think this might be maybe the, one of the only ones that I'm going to keep. It's the, in Bondi Bay by Nude Sticks. I haven't used it a million times, but it's such a great color. It's a little bit more on the warmer tone side, but it blends out really pretty on the skin. Yeah, I really like it for just like a nice, easy, bronzy look. And on this side, you get the brush. This actually reminds me of the Makeup by Mario bronzing stick another cream bronzer i have here is speaking of makeup by mario is the makeup by mario one this is in light medium i think i might have used this maybe twice it's a great product it's very smooth very creamy but i just don't get enough use out of it to feel like i need to keep it in my collection especially since it's a cream so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one I think we're doing pretty well, if I may say so myself. Next, I'm going to declutter this. This is the Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squat. So, story behind this one, it's been sold out everywhere for the longest time. But then at some point, Benefit did bring it back. And I feel like at that point, I did end up purchasing it, which is this. But I didn't feel the love that I like. kind of thought I would have for it. I feel like if I would have gotten this during the first launch, I maybe would have felt, you know, more obsessed with it. But I don't know what it is. It's just, I have it. I've used it a handful of times. You can see Hula has used Cookie Highlighter and Gold Rush. I just don't, like if, ever, if I ever go anywhere, it's not one that I take with me. 
I love Cookie. I think it's great, but I have it in its individual form. And then Hula, I really just use like the regular one. I just don't dip into this one. And Gold Rush, I don't really use. So I'll give this a better home. We're going to declutter. I will keep the Hula bronzer. This is a classic. This is a staple for me. I love it. I've gone through, I think, two or three Hula full bronzers and a few deluxe sizes. I, you know, I go through this like water, they say. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not really, but it's good stuff. It's super creamy for a matte, and it just looks very, very nice on. You can't really see it there, but it's very buildable, and I think it's a solid one. I'm also going to keep the Too Faced bronzer. This is just the chocolate bronzer. This is one that I do take with me literally everywhere. It's one of my favorites. Such a great formula. I used to have uh, Milk. I don't know why they're not swatching, but it's a good bronzer. I mean, you can tell it's been it's been loved, but yeah, I don't know. You can't really tell. Maybe if I swatch it here, yeah, it's a great color for me. I used to have the milk chocolate bronzer, but I felt like that was a little bit too light. This could get a bit too dark for me in my skin tone, but if I go lighter and build up, it does work out stunningly. Um, so I'm gonna keep it. I think it's great. I think I'm gonna be hitting pants soon because I could see like the ridges of the palette. Great stuff, amazing, just a classic for me. Another one I feel like that I love, here, this e.l.f. one. You could see, I'm obsessed. This is in the shade Forever Sunkissed. I feel like I've been speaking about this for ages and ages. Haven't used it in a bit, but I know I'm obsessed. It's a great color, pretty similar to like the one in the Ofra palette. I uh, haven't used this in a while, I'm not really sure why, but now that I'll be decluttering, um, I feel like I'll be able to see this and actually use it, use it up, all of that. I do also have this one by NARS. This is the Laguna Cream Bronzer by NARS. And I thought I would love this, but I just am not the biggest fan. It's such a pigmented, like, it's too pigmented for me. And I feel like I've never said that in my life. Like, oh, this is too pigmented, especially when it comes to Laguna. Cause you know me, I, I go very heavy and I figure it out, but it's nice. It's just a little bit, harder for me to work with when it comes to cream bronzers and if i am using a cream bronzer i don't really want to put that much effort if you know what i'm saying so i'm going to declutter that i also have these two by Too faced so ironically i don't find that it's the same formula as their chocolate bronzers i thought it would be packaging is so freaking cute i do have both of the shades but this one i think um one second yeah, this is way too dark. I actually don't even think I swatched this. Let's swatch it. Yeah, it's pretty dark. But it has almost like a luminousness to it. Luminousness. I think that's very pretty. I know this one for sure I don't like. I feel like the formula is very dry compared to the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And it just doesn't look... I don't know, as nice on the skin, and I just, I don't love the cutter, color as much as I love um, this color. So I'm gonna declutter this one. This one I think I am gonna keep, I'm thinking, because it's very different compared to anything else I have in my collection. Even though it is dark, it does have like that luminousness to it, but not overdone. And I mean, like I mentioned, I don't even think I use this, so I think I'll keep it for now. And if I feel like, you know, it's just not working out for me, then I'll end up decluttering it as time goes on, but I'm gonna keep that. I will declutter this right here by Gucci. Loved it for a decent amount of time. This is in the shade 03. I think I kind of, uh, what was the word? I brought into the hype. I I fell into the hype maybe, yeah. Uh, it's, it's good, but it's really nothing to write home about. I do put lashes here if I'm going traveling, by the way. You need like a case, you can put your, your lashes in there. It's nice, it's okay. I'm just not, I actually prefer other ones, you know, instead of this one, so. Gucci. It's a vibe, but I'm going to declutter. Another one I'm going to declutter is this one by Physicians Formula. I just think the color doesn't work out too, too well for my skin tone. I'm not fully obsessed. This is in just bronzer. That's the shade. That's the shade name. Um, I'm going to declutter this one by Milk Makeup. It's just a small little one, which apparently is considered their full size. I think I got this in a Sephora Favorites kit. I, I oh, Shoot, I can't put it down now. Yeah. I've used most of the other items in the Sephora Favorites kit, but this... I mean, it's nice, whatever, but I'm just going to declutter. <laughs> it's fine. I have the Nude 6 one. Okay. I also have this one by Tom Ford. It's pretty. And you could see I did use it a nice amount of times. It's okay. 
I'm not like insanely addicted, I would say though. Um, it's fun to use, it feels luxurious, but if I'm being honest, I prefer the other ones that I kept more than this one. So I think I'm gonna declutter it and say goodbye. It's actually insanely pricey for just small size, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah, okay. Next I have this one by Tower 28. I'm gonna declutter, it has a little bit of like shimmer to it and I just don't feel like it looks just pretty on me. Um, the, it just looks very like, what's the word? Metallic almost on if you don't really, really blend it in. I just don't really love it on the skin. I love their blushes though, I think they're great, but I'm gonna say goodbye to that. And I will say it almost has like a very stiff, drier formula and I just, I don't love her. I don't love it, so goodbye. Um, I also have this one by Nabla. This is the Skin Bronzing Bronzer and Soft Revenge. This I'm gonna keep. You could see I've, I've given it some love for sure. A little bit deeper, but it actually looks more intimidating in the pan. It looks dirty here, yeah, no, 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 no. It looks rough, but it's actually really nice on the skin. I, I use this a lot of the times. It's one of my favorites, so gonna keep it. This I'm gonna declutter. I do like it, I think it's a decent one. Whoa but I just think the packaging is just way too big and I'm trying to like minimize. Um, and there, like I said, other bronzers that I prefer. It's a good one if you're looking for a, a simple drugstore one. It smells good too, but I'm gonna say goodbye to this. I also have four of the putty bronzers here by e.l.f. cream ones. So what's this color? This is in Sun Chaser. You could see I didn't really even use it. I just kind of like scraped it. I want to declutter that one. Next, I have this one. This is a little bit too cool tone for me. I don't like these kind of colors on me. <laughs> I know a lot of people do love it on them, but it's, uh, I don't. Um, then I have this one, which I actually like the most. Let's see. Yeah, and then this one is a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna declutter this one, but I will keep this one. I, I haven't given it enough love. This is in 10 lines. Yeah. Good color. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this. This is a blush palette actually from a while ago. I kept it for the collector in me. Even though now I don't really collect as much as I used to, I feel, but that's a blush palette. We have three more bronzers, okay? We have this by Tarte. I'm gonna declutter. I honestly forget about this. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might have just swatched it. It's okay. Uh, we also have this one by Physicians Formula. The bronzer. It's actually a good one, but a little bit too powdery for my liking. Very, very soft though. I'm gonna declutter. Lastly, I have this by Clinique. This is in Solar Pop. I really, really like this, but what's annoying about it? Why does this always happen to me? Someone please explain. Ugh, so annoying. So I think I'm gonna just um, put some glue or something, but you could see I've been giving it love. So I have to fix that because it's really good, but I'm gonna keep it basically. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to wipe this down before a little one wakes up. Let's see if you can get through this and we'll organize. Honestly, how crazy does this look right now? It's like so not my type. I feel like this whole clutter vibe is me, but I don't know. I feel like I might be entering a new era. Let me tell you, I did keep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which I think is a pretty solid amount. Also, I'm almost done with this one. This one I'm about to hit pan on. So those two will probably be gone soon. I kept six powders and two creams, which I think is pretty decent. Now let's see how much I decluttered. Okay, so here are the ones that I ended up decluttering. I have nine cream bronzers that I'm decluttering and eight powder. I also had 32 bronzers in total. I kept eight and I'm decluttering 17. Let's hop into the drawer again. I actually love it, I have to say. I'm very happy with my decisions. I don't think I have an insane bronzer collection to begin with, but I still feel like I got rid of a handful that I really wasn't using. So I'll have these on my Poshmark. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I just put on this paper. It's like, what am I doing with my life? I think the floor is a little bit like needs to be swept, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I'll have these on my Poshmark. I hope you guys enjoyed. Looking forward to your comments and I'll see you guys in my next one.